last time on The Lazy Geckos. You're on a cupcake delivery. All right, dingy ride, then we'll come for drinks. Well, we're weighing anchor at 6.30. 10. I don't know. get to your anchorage by like 10 uh, because the winds are so crazy. Good job. Thanks. So, sorry, man. That <laughs> sorry about Jeez, that. Sorry about that. my eyes are watering. I didn't realize how long the blend It's gonna was. look like I'm crying, like I'm a battered sailor girl. Dang. Dang. I like him for the kiss and yeah, there you go. <laughs> Amazing how powerful those storms can be, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. They're all, every single one of those is broken. Yeah. Not one survived. And I'm getting soaked by the rain, so I'm We just left uh, Anchor. We're going into a little bit of a squall area. Uh, we got Viejo over here. Pulled Anchor up at six. Look at that. That's crazy. That is nice. I got him some pictures. He has no idea back there. He's like, what? What? Crazy. Coming into some weather, but it is nice. Look at that. That is. It really is a double rainbow. Holy crap, I've never seen one. Me either. What does it mean? Look at that. What does this mean? That is beautiful. That is crazy. I've never seen a double rainbow before. Perfect to go that morning coffee. Are you excited about going to San Juan? Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's like a must see. We're not gonna sail around there, but we're gonna rent a car and go check it out for a day or two. Yeah. That'll be really cool. I really enjoyed Puerto Rico, so I'm excited to see that. Especially the old San Juan area, the landscape is gorgeous. I mean, right behind you, there's mountains. I think that's Vieques or whatever. Yeah. However you say it. Behind us, we're not gonna go just because we read about the theft, but it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. We're gonna go to the Puerto del Rey Marina on the east coast, which I believe is the largest marina in the Caribbean. Yes. Um, what's That's funny, cool. when we ripped our sail and we were kind of running into some problems every couple of days, I looked at Marie, a good spot to stop and fix our stuff, even though we don't have to anymore, we able to fix it along the way. That's the marina that I was like, it's perfect to go into. It has a boat yard, uh, lots of people there working as far as maintenance, lots of slips, lots of stuff around there to get your stuff fixed, pick up stuff, West Marine and all that. Bella getting her bath, her weekly bath. Yes. Yes. It's perfect because the water warms up from the engines while we're going. She doesn't need warm water, she's a dog. I guess she What do you think wild dogs have? No water. They have cold water. It's a good thing she has hair. <laughs> You went bald, and you 
look great, so. I wouldn't say I went bald, I just, I thinned out. But that's what I'm saying. Good thing she has hair because it doesn't look good under there. <laughs> Is she done? He and poop. That, yeah, that's great. Now washing it down. Just need some soap and like I spray a little bit of bleach in there. And then I leave it out on the deck and the sun dries it up in like 20 minutes. Our last stop in Puerto Rico's main island was at the Puerto del Rey Marina. This place is amazing. We were so happy to be in the dock for a few days. Woke up this morning at Puerto del Rey Marina and decided today was a great day to do a road trip to San Juan. Old San Juan actually is what we're interested in seeing and spending most of our time at today. We kind of planned it with our buddy boat that we've been going along with and Yeho. They weren't able to get into our marina, it was completely full. So we're going to pick them up from basically a random dinghy dock, <laughs> I think. Maybe they found like a marina dinghy dock, I'm not sure they're gonna leave their dinghy there. And we're all gonna do a little road trip today to Old San Juan. Got the little guy back there. Hi. Daddy's driving and navigating us with our old broken phone. We've not been able to get our new phones yet so that's kind of like a bummer the phone's not that great for navigating it's really old on the way probably park their dinghy in here somewhere there they uh -huh. are we found them <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep you safe in here. Yeah. Did you bring us some cupcakes? Are you gonna talk? He's like, oh my gosh, they're both next to me. We were so excited. Getting a chance to explore old San Juan on an overnight trip. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, there's our terrace. What? what? Dude, we can have our friends up here. Look at this. That's so crazy. Like, come to our come to our little terrace in the sky. Walk out. Let's take a peek. This is cool. Look we really lucked out. We got here early, so they gave us a free upgrade. Yeah. We went to explore Old San Juan, and we had to stay in Old San Juan because the little guy can't walk as far, so we got a place right in the heart, and I booked the cheapest room, and when we got here, I, he's like, you guys are early, and actually, we're going to upgrade you. I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool, and I said, uh, that's really neat because we want to put like this historical building on our channel. So. It worked out and it's gorgeous. It wasn't long before we dropped our bags and went off exploring this beautiful city. It was so romantic. The colors were fantastic. We just wandered around all day. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Everybody's getting all over your head. Okay. Okay. Look, it's getting all over Reese's head. Okay. It's crazy. I don't want to do it. No, you don't want to do it. It's you get an you? odd feeling. Mom. Mom. Okay. Major Captain Brown event. Yeah, this is the dock where they were parked and they were playing Monopoly and stuff. And they were dancing under this tree and... Oh, that the Harvey's got escorted down here. This is like classic Captain Ron area. This is really pretty. This is cool. It's like being serenaded in the streets of old San Juan. It was weird, man. This is weird. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Sort of. Okay. Well, you believe what you want. But we go up and she reads the, the story behind the place and it's like, you know, 
I forgot, I don't even know what the hell the story was, but it was like, you know, it's a big, you know, these paintings were of people, and, you know, they painted it to symbolize something, whatever, in this old building. It says the reason the door is painted black and white is due to the current crisis in Puerto Rico. The artist decided to paint it black. It is still believed to be beautiful and the fact that it is painted black can represent not only the crisis but the history of Puerto Rico and the hearts of many Boracas in and out of the island. For those interested, there are flags painted around the island in different Pueblos. It's like an art icon. It's very beautiful, oh my gosh. Reese goes up there and he touches one of the paintings. And I was like, hey, don't touch that, you know, because you know, that's all that could damage the painting, whatever. And Brittany's like, oh, it's okay, right? A couple of seconds, I'm not kidding. It's a couple of seconds later, Brittany's arm turns to like fire, right? Like, she's like, what the? And then right after that, a brick flies off the building, a full brick and lands, he steps forward and it lands directly behind him from on top of the building. Like if he didn't take that step, that told you it's no not up to cheese. Right. I'm not kidding. If, no if kidding. he didn't take that step, it would have landed it on his head, on a full head. brick. And it, it hit Smash. so hard, check this out. We're like, I was like, crack, you know, bricks like crack, right? And I'm like, what the hell is that? And it hit so hard that it all went up in the air and landed all over my head. I mean, it, it, it disintegrated the brick. It just blew My whole thing. arm, where it was burning, was a red stripe of like a huge yeah. rash. Yeah, isn't that weird? And then, five minutes later, it completely went away. And it happened like that. It was like burning, crash. And I was like, what the hell was that? She like a brick. And it didn't even hit what just happened. I was like, that could have killed him, you know? Right behind him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So there's the first. So we came here and we started drinking because we were so right. freaked out. Right. We like had, like we were upset. Because well, if not he didn't take that step, yeah, yeah. it would have right. oh, landed on his head. Right. I think you should buy a setting board. <laughs> yeah. Then it's not time, right? We come here and we have pizza. It's not time. And, uh, and then we go back to the room. And when we checked in the room, they, they gave us a um, an upgrade for free. It was crazy. We got the cheapest room they had. And he was like, well, the room's not ready, but another one is, and it's my favorite room. And you'll have this beautiful little terrace. Thank you for my beer and my limes. I love that you love my limes. Let me give you a lesson in the limes, honey. Okay. You gotta get a juicy lime first. And then you gotta let it drip in there. The wind's blowing it, so you gotta go off a little bit. Squeeze it real nice, get all the juice out of there. And then you pop it in, but as you're going in, you rub it around the rim. You get all the pulp on the outside. As you drink it, you go work your way around the rim, so then you get a little bit of pulp in there each time. It's perfect. That's why I like it so much. It almost makes like a, instead of a citrus beer, it makes like a normal light beer citrusy. And you know what? I actually recently, I've never met anybody in my life that drinks ultras with limes. But recently, I met a girl while we were voting. She asked for a Mick Ultra with one lime, not two. I take two. One lime. And I was like, damn, that's my kind of girl. Nice. She knows what I'm talking about. She squeezed it in there like I like it, made it nice and juicy, and drank that sucker. But he takes a nap, so we go outside and we're relaxing, and she gets in a bathing suit. And then Brittany decided to get, you know, T.O.P. L.E.S.S. on top on the terrace. Just to, like, sunbathe. It was our own right. private, like, yes. whatever. It was and very then, romantic. Yeah. So and then, like, we never get to do this, you right. know? So it's just sort of she and I. And she's like, hi! Well, they're on top of the roof above our terrace looking down like this. And I'm like, oh shit, they're calling the cops. They're calling the cops, you know. And then they go to the other side of the room and they're watching down there and then we were like, what are we gonna get at? So we left. Hey, <laughs> you had an adventure. Yeah, it's an adventure, man. You gotta sign up for the adventure package. <laughs> How'd you get up here? He knows that I know why they're up there. And then he's like, you know that I came up here because you were topless. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Just pulled into Puerto del Rey Marina and we were greeted in style. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. We will be crossing over to the Virgin Islands. How do you handle having all this fishing knowledge? It's amazing. 
US Coast Guard, US Coast Guard, sailing vessel on Yoho. They just reached the vessel, so I imagine I should hear something within the next five minutes. I'm shaking, actually, that's why the camera's shaking. Delos, and on the delivery, he's cruising right next to us. So exciting that I get to dive in a bikini. That's his knot, the bimini twist. Yeah. Now have a good view. It's gorgeous. I'm naked, otherwise I open the door. <laughs> Where are we sailing to today, John? It looks like we're gonna have pizza again. What'd you think about packing? And I'm hard over. Yeah. We have some friends over. We're over here at Peter Island. Out in front of Willie T's, which we'll go to next. Should we go Mayday? Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. mayday, mayday. <laughs> oh, That's really I didn't, I didn't swim there. Loads are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, it's our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazygeckos.